Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. The Office of Utilities Regulation, OUR, says higher consumption influenced by the COVID-19 stay-at-home order contributed to the Jamaica Public Service Company, JPS customers, experiencing hikes in their electricity bills. The regulator says several anomalies in JPS's billing were found, but those did not significantly impact the increases. Jamaica on Wednesday recorded nine more COVID-19 deaths, one of the largest numbers in a 24-hour period that pushed the total fatality count to 160. Jamaica had 8,067 confirmed coronavirus cases, of which 4,320 are active. Four more Jamaica Defence Force JDF soldiers are facing questions in relation to Tuesday's major ganja bust and shootout in St. Elizabeth. Two JDF corporals who were detained by the police are facing criminal charges. Minister with the Responsibility for Prisons, Senator Matthew Samuda, says tougher laws are coming to penalize persons who take contraband, especially electronic devices, into correctional centers. Mr. Samuda also announced on Thursday that a proposed law to modernize prison administration in Jamaica is expected to be tabled and approved by Parliament within three months. In sports, Jamaica's reggae boys have secured two international games against five-time World Cup qualifiers Saudi Arabia in the Middle Eastern country on November 14 and 17. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $145.24, the British pound sterling for $191.08, and the Canadian dollar for $115.41. In your weather forecast, on Friday morning it will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, expect widely scattered showers and thunderstorms across most parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Jovan Johnson.